Okay, so it's another sand disc. But it's a rather rare one. I hardly ever get them like that. I can't remember really if I've seen another one anytime recently. This device, luckily for us, is a uh, surface mount and it's built on a printed circuit board. Uh, Cruiser Edge, I guess Cruiser Edge, I'm confusing it with the Cruiser Fit. Never mind me. Um, let's have a look as to what happened to this poor little thing. Cruiser Edge. So. I don't know if there's any gentle way to open up these cases. Really isn't that important. All the work that we do is just to get the data out and cutting through the case for, the, for that specific unit is probably the best option. What do we have here? We have 515-5 controller by SanDisk and we have a 64 gigabyte NAND. What do we see right away? Uh oh we have a major, major power issue. So, how are we gonna fix it? Very easily. Okay, so it seems like we have a compatible one. Well, not a compatible, but the same one. And this is a super simple repair. And because um, I already chipped away at the casing, don't, the most difficult part would be to connect this thing back in. Because uh, this device doesn't have a connector. It's got uh, PCB uh, laid out as an extension, but the housing makes like the same properties as the connector would when it's all put together so <clears throat> in order to resolve this we will attach a separate connector to it and uh, that should be as good as new Okay, so let's just see. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's power, so I just wanted to make sure that it's not like upside down or something.
we technically could just put a jumper instead, but I don't want to take any chances. That's it. The donor resistor got blown out. Now I removed the capacitor that was causing all the trouble. I'm gonna give it another shot. So now we got a partition come up. And again, ooh, this unit got so freaking hot. So uh, the controller is generating an immense amount of heat. So at first when I plugged it in, it actually came up ready and uh, I could see the uh, partition name. Uh, but within like a couple of seconds, it just dropped out and it, the, the message on Windows uh, came up uh, saying that the um, USB device is not recognized. When I pulled it out from the USB port, you could definitely feel that it's getting really warm from something small uh, turn into something uh, rather complicated. Not complicated if we have a donor, but if we don't have a donor, we will have to do this as a chip off. So let me uh, dig into my boxes and see if I can find the same controller type to run this. Well, that didn't actually take too long. <laughs> uh, the, the device that I used the, um, uh, the re original resistor from, the donor, uh, is using the exact same controller so
Okay, um, what am I missing? I would like to get some plugs here. That's settled in. Get some wire up. 